here at 108 Praise Radio, where we're always voicing the gospel. Listen, I am so glad you are joining me tonight. Not that I'm not happy that you join me every Monday night, but tonight is going to be something special. I just can't wait for you to watch us get dig deep into some things that are going on, not only in the world, but about who we are. Now, you know, you see two women, but this is a good show for men, couples, singles. This is for everybody, I guarantee you, tonight. So I'm going to introduce my guest shortly. But listen, I know over the last week or so, we've been hearing a lot about um, some suicides that have been going mm. on. I know that there's been people that have been talking about it, whether it's been the news, mm. other radio shows, etc. And, you know, I hope that tonight, if somebody is watching the triumphant radio show my prayer is that you're reminded that there is someone you can talk to there is somewhere you can go and don't believe the negative about whatever you hear mm -hmm. whatever somebody may have said about mm -hmm. you if your past starts to creep up in you i want you to remember that in the bible it talks about that there is no flaw in you it's mm -hmm. in song of solomon and what i like about that scripture just that part alone that no matter how we feel or we may have those days where oh i look ugly today or i'm not feeling good there's still no flaw in you because you were created with a purpose you were designed Fearfully, you were designed, you know, in an image of God who is grand, beautiful, majestic with splendor. Mm. And so I want you to keep that in mind as we go through this show, because we're going to be talking about us today. We're going to be talking about you, how we feel, heart, mind, body, soul, our health. Mm -hmm. There's so much that's going to be in this hour. So, hey, if you haven't kicked off those shoes, kick them off right now. If you don't have your tea, go get your tea right now because we have some things to talk about today. And so I just want to make sure that I encourage you to um, be uh, mindful that if you are going through something, there is also a suicide hotline that you can call. We want to make sure that we're posting this um, online, which is one 800 Two seven three eight two five five. Again, that's one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. If you're feeling any kind of way, please call that number. There's so many of us out there that have gone through situations where we felt like we just wanted to end it. But I'm telling you, there is a purpose and a call in your life, and it doesn't have to be that way. And tonight, I pray that it blesses you, so you'll be reminded that you can still live a life with fullness, and you'll understand why shortly understand why shortly. So tonight is definitely a call-in night. Let me give you the phone number to call in here on the Triumphant Radio Show here at 108 Praise Radio, and that's 770-788-6461. You have got to call in tonight with your comments and questions. I'm going to repeat that number one more time, 770-788-6461. All right. Well, we're going to get right into it so that we have plenty of time to talk about everything that's on the agenda. But let me tell you who is sitting to my left and to the viewers sitting to your right and to the listeners. I have an awesome, beautiful, dynamic Aww. woman next to me. And I'm going to tell you, it's almost like I stalked her. Yes. No kidding. This has been over a year. So let me tell you, I walked in Whole Foods one day and I was planning for one of my events. And as I'm walking out of Whole Foods Market, I ran into a line of magazines and immediately what caught my eye was this magazine if you can see it it's called best self i love not only the title but even the image it was something beauty on the cover of the magazine but something Aww. attracted me spiritually to the magazine and it talked about best self so i began to browse through the magazine and i said Wow, I began to read the article on this beautiful woman named Lisa Washington. And I was amazed at what I was reading. I was encouraged. I was inspired. Um, I wanted to get her at our conference last year. And I wrote the magazine, but I didn't get a response. But that's OK, that's okay. because this year I tried again. <laughs> And not only did I try again, I went on Facebook. You can find anybody on Facebook. That's Just true. be careful. <laughs> and I found her on Facebook, and immediately when I reached out, um, the humility in her, the sweetness, the warmth, the kindness responded back. You know how you, you reach out to people, and they don't know you, and they may never talk to you? And I was so overjoyed that I got a response. I'm like, Lisa Washington messaged me back. Yes, I did have to tell some people. <laughs> and, and it's not just the fact that... We're looking at a magazine about best self. There's more to this story. But I had to get her on the show today because she um, is the winner of the 2017 <laughs> Best of Atlanta 
over 40 and fabulous. And when I say <laughs> fabulosity is her middle name, it really is. And it's not in a conceit way. There's so much humility. Um, there's, there's so much um, to her depth um, that that her herself and her story has reached beyond these borders here in Georgia. They've reached wow. people all over. They've reached other stations. They've reached TV shows. Um, and so it is an honor to have you on the show Aww, today, Lisa. Thank you. I'm so grateful not only to glean from your beauty <laughs> and, 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 and hear your testimony and talk, but I'm just glad to have you today. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for reaching out and persevering. To yeah. um, get me on the show, I'm excited. I'm very excited, and and I I want to I want to first find out. <clears throat> so the beginning of, of, of how I I came in, in contact with you was seeing this this magazine. Yes. How did you become the winner out of all these women <laughs> in the ATL? I know women and men in the <laughs> and yeah men. and men. It was so funny because one of my really good girlfriends, her name is Alina Bagger. She's amazing. Wow. She um, emailed me and said, hey, Lisa, I actually nominated you to for Best Self Atlanta Magazine over 40 and Fabulous. And I was like, okay, that's great. I was excited <laughs> about it. But I was like, okay, that's great. I kind of okay. went on. I was like, yeah, to be on the cover of that magazine, I was like, that's pretty huge, you right, know? Right, right. And so... Anyway, so what ended up happening, they emailed me and said, hey, Lisa, you are top 40 in the magazine. I was like, Amazing. what? Amazing. Top 40? And then it's like, well, you have to go and just get people to vote for you. And I'm right. like, so I put it out there. And there's some incredible contestants in 2017 wow. and 2018, too. Wow. Just some really incredible movers and shakers of Atlanta, philanthropists, television personalities. People that's wow. really doing some amazing things in the community. Wow. And I know the things I've done, right. and but I'm like, man, okay, God, this yeah. is a blessing just to be in the 40. Then I got top 10. Ooh. And I was like, what? Wow. Wow. And then the judges, the magazine and judges and other magazines around Atlanta had to vote who will be on the cover, wow. who represented fitness, who had an incredible story, who's doing a lot of philanthropy and, and working in the community. Right. And I never thought that it would be me. I, I just wow. was grateful to be in top 40. And at the party, they pulled this huge poster with my face on it. <laughs> wow. I'm like this smack. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> who? And I'm looking around to see who the winner is, girl. I'm looking around and say, I wonder if who I can won? figure it out who won. And then when he said my name, it was, you. it was me. And my husband had to push me to the front to receive the, you know, the honor of that. Amazing. And it's been an incredible year being on the cover. It has been an incredible right. year. And, and the wonderful thing about it is that it started with someone just submitting your name. That's it. Because they saw something yeah. about you and in you. Yeah. I mean, that that has to encourage all of us right yeah. now. We, especially women, um, and even men, let me not exclude that, there is always something beautiful you can find in someone. Yes. And there's things okay. going on around us where we can really let someone know, hey, we want to honor you. Yeah. Not just on a local level, but on a global scale, yes. a larger scale. Yeah. And so that friend basically opened that door for you. Yes, I was you very know. grateful. And so from being the winner, what types of doors has it opened for you? Um, It's interesting because before I was on the magazine, I... Uh, was on Food Network, and I got a chance Food to Network. Uh, do Love Food Network, Network for two months, and it was awesome. They did a show called All Star Academy, which uh, was inc incredible, which that was amazing because it was international, yeah. opened a lot of doors, and I did a whole uh, spill on uh, Food Network and what I do. But the great thing about being on all the television stations locally and all the radio stations here locally yeah. is I got to tell a story that is the reason why I got to be on that cover. And that right. is a story of my husband giving me his kidney 10 years ago. L let's talk about that. And okay. the, the really great thing about this story is me and my husband renewed our vows um, three years ago. We've been married for 23 years and together for 25. Wow. And the, the beautiful thing about that is I tell him, I am because you are. Woo. I am because and, you are. And I think about the things I've gotten to do. I've gotten to be on national television, local television. I get to do some correspondence for Good Day Atlanta, talking about health and wellness. Right. And a lot of things, but it's because of who he is, because of his life and sacrificing and giving me his kidney, wow. that I've, I'm able to do the things that I'm, I've gotten to do. The magazine, what it really helped me to do is that right. now I'm the keynote speaker for the Georgia Transplant Foundation. 
wow. because there's a kidney transplant recipient on the cover of this magazine that. that says this was over 40 and fabulous and fit looks like. Right. You know, and, right. I, and that really inspires me about the magazine right. because I've had a struggle. I was in a right. coma for three days wow. before my husband gave me his kidney. I was on dialysis. Uh, we've, we've, we've lost two babies because wow. of my kidney disease. Yeah. So a lot has happened. And, right. and so it's... It just it's a blessing. Right. You know, it's a blessing yeah. to to be honored in that way. Right. And I can go show transplant patients this is what it looks like on the other side Come of transplantation. On. Come on. You know, I call it the other side of living. Yeah. It, and, it, and it really is because there are people, and I hope you all are, are, are gathering this. If, if you're just tuning in, we have Lisa Washington here in our studio today, here on the Triumphant Radio Show, and we're hearing her testimony and her story um, that, that actually is behind or connected to the fact that she's on the cover of the 2017 Best Self magazine and also in the 2018 magazine oh, yeah. as well, spread as well. We'll get to that later. But what I love about it is that she's sharing her testimony about receiving a kidney transplant from her husband. From my husband. Uh, 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 when you think about that and you think that you are someone who's a spokesperson yeah. for that, but you're talking about your best self, that is encouraging right yes. there. Yes. You know, because it's letting us know if I'm going through something that I even think think or decide to fathom that it's going to be detrimental to the rest of my life, I'm wrong. Yeah. Because yeah. then actually I can actually survive it. Yes. And be the best self. Yeah. I mean, I, I bet you can you can inspire people. Yeah, over because and people that. think that best self is just perfection. Right. And it's not. That's it's right. how we stand in our imperfections. That's, that's what good. that's about. You yeah. know? That is your best self at any stage in life. Right. Wherever you're at, right. you rise up to the best of that and right. stand on that. And right. so I think that's really important. That's very important. Yeah. Um, I know there's some of you that are listening right now and you're you're thinking about some of the things we've talked about. I know the last couple of weeks we've had some people on the show that have had different things going on in their life, but they keep on keeping on, yes. you know? Yes. And we as women, we have to remember because we're so critical about ourselves Oh my sometimes. gosh, yes we are. You know, I, I, I used to tell people how I moved to Georgia and I gained weight. It's because of that Georgia food. <laughs> But it may not be the Georgia food all the time. What what do I need to put in place to get my weight back down, you know? Right. And so even thinking about food, we sometimes beat ourselves up yeah. or we make that other things an excuse because we don't like where we're at when in actuality we can get to a better place. Yes, you know? and I it, agree. And, and I think the attitude that you have based off of what you've been through has helped shape yourself and other people? Yeah, it really has. I really think it really is about that attitude that you have, yeah. how you how you approach life, how you look at life. Right. That is the thing that really makes a difference. Right. It really, right. And I don't care where you're at in life. Right. Your perspective is what's leading the way. Right, right. That's how what leads see. the way. I don't care That's what the it. situation is. Your perspective leads the way. That's it. Um, and I was reading in the article, and I, and I love the fact that it talks about um, 40 and fabulous because so many of us women that are 40 and over <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we sometimes um, dread you have you have young ladies nowadays dreading hitting 30. I'm oh 30 gosh, I'm not really? married I need a kid or you know there's so many and it's almost like what what's going on with I know. society and I here know. we are have people that are confident and excited about getting 40 and beyond, oh, and yeah. living their best life. Oh, my gosh. My you know? 40s is my best time. Come I'm having on. a good old time. I agree I'm about to hit 50, but Come I'm just like, on. good Lord, right. this is fun. It is. And, and, and I just want to, what can we tell, if you're under 40 right now, and you're dreading hitting 40, you know, one thing I guess we can tell them in terms of as you grow and you age is that you gain wisdom. You do. When you gain wisdom, that means that you gain a better perspective about who you are. Yes. And then you start to appreciate that 40 and below because it helped build you to who you are today. Yes. Because if you didn't have those building blocks when you hit 40 and, above and on, you may still be in a wobbly lifestyle because you didn't learn from anything. And so we have to appreciate yes. what you say, those uh, younger years. No, I totally. I think even in those years of when you're 30, when you're 20s or in your 30s, yeah. it's really appreciating every aspect of that time mm, in your life good. and really kind of getting to know who you are in right. that moment right. and not who society is telling you that you need to be. Right. If I had to go back to my 30-year-old self, that's what I would say. Like, right. Lisa, take some time out to find out who you are. Right. That's in good. this moment, at 30, the brilliance of that 
and who you are at 30 and live in that space and not what society is telling us right. who we should be. That's a, that's amazing. That's what you figure out that's when you're 40. Yeah, that is what we figure <laughs> out. So you might as well 40. take it now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, if you're just tuning in, once again, we're listening to the Triumphant. You are listening to the Triumphant Radio Show. I really want you to call in. I think we have some callers calling in, but let me tell you the number again, which is 770-788-6461. We want to hear your comments, yes. your questions. You know, call in now because when you hear about someone, a couple, a beautiful beautiful couple and a husband who's given up something in him for his wife. Wow. Isn't that the meaning of love? Yes. I mean, that it's just so beautiful. And then you have a woman who is not down on herself about it. She's like, I'm in my best self. Yes. And somebody else aside from them saw this and said, you need to be in Atlanta's best. And because of that, we are sitting with her today, and she has won this position, and it has taken her everywhere. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh, yeah. Call her 5478. You are on. You are on. Yeah. Oh, great. You're on. Question or comment? Caller, are you there? 5478. And if we've missed you, you, you can call back. Caller five four seven eight, you there? I can I can hear something in the background. Oh hey! 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 Lee, this is this is Keegan. I'm calling in for Lisa. Hey Keegan, how are you? <laughs> I am good. I just want I've been listening in uh, from the beginning. Can you all hear me? Okay. Yes, we can. Yes. Thank you. Okay, awesome. And I just want to fully agree with the hostess uh, about what you have shared about Lisa. Uh, I've known Lisa for over a decade wow. uh, personally, and she is beautiful on the inside, on the outside. And the thing about Lisa <laughs> is when, you, when you're around her, like, you cannot help but smile. You cannot uh, help but laugh. That. And you cannot help but just feel at peace and feel at home when you're around her. Wow. And she has this healing all uh, about her that you could be going through the, the toughest times and the worst times. And you talk to Lisa and everything is better. Everything is okay. Oh, wow. Lisa has been such a great support for me in, in my journey and um, she has been my dream interpreter <laughs> whenever I have vivid dreams she she tells me what it means and it a lot of times most of the times all of the time it, it's dead on and <laughs> she has been a, a great friend she has been a great big sister to me wow. and she has Thank been you. a great inspiration wow. uh, for me and I just, I'm so grateful that God put Lisa in my life. I don't wow. think I would be where I am if, if it wasn't for Lisa, uh, Lisa's friendship, Lisa's advice, Lisa's wisdom, uh, Lisa's example of living, uh, right. being, a, being a mom, being yeah. a parent, and uh, just showing me what, what all of that entails, what all of that means and i have one question for lisa um uh because i always love picking her brain and i always <laughs> love hearing That's her share here. <laughs> about um uh, about her wisdom but um my question is uh lisa what was one of your inspirations or what what was one thing that inspired motivated you uh to start your own business to become the ceo of your business, of your company to really step out because that's a big deal yeah, to yes. start a business, uh, to, to, to create a business. There's a lot of fear and insecurity that I, I believe that I know I went through even before thinking of jumping out, out, you know, out of that boat. Yeah. Uh, but what, yeah. what was one thing that helped you that inspired you to face those fears or face whatever insecurities or face whatever possibilities of failure and just to do it? 
Well, you know the thing, uh, first of all, Keegan, thank you so much for your beautiful words. Beautiful. Um, you are such a great little brother. I love oh my you. Gosh. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> um, the thing that it, that inspired me, that motivated me, moved me forward to start my own company, um, which is Betali Wellness and Beauty Company, is that I knew that I had something that people needed. And yeah. when you know that there's something that you have that people need, you just got to figure out now, how do I get it to them? That thing inspires me. When you have that norm within your soul, within right. yourself, that I have something that I know that people need. And it doesn't matter if you see a thousand other people right. that have that same thing to give. Nobody's going right. to give it to them the way the you're going to do. That's right. I always say I'm probably not the, the best, I'm not the prettiest, but I'm going to tell you, nobody can give it to you the way Lisa can, Come on. the way Lisa can deliver it. And I think that is the thing that inspires me, and that's the thing that inspired me to start my company. And that's what made the company very successful. And so I think for any entrepreneur out there is to really have that focus that I have something to give to the world and that no one can deliver it the way that I can do. And that'll keep you going no matter the ups and the ins and the outs. So that that's how I would answer that. That's excellent. Thank, Thank you, you Keenan, awesome. so much for your call and, and for calling in. We're now going to take caller 7946. Caller 7946, you're on. Oh, hi, this is Tran Smith, and hi, hi to Keegan. I, hi. Um, so I have only known Lisa for a year, I but I feel like I've known her for so much longer because wow. she's one of those people, and I feel like I'm repeating a lot of what other people are saying, but <laughs> she's one of those people that you can't just like, hi, you know, I'm Tran, nice to meet you. It's like, hey. We're going to be friends, and I'm going to wrap my arms around you and your entire oh life nice. and be a part of your life. So it's um, it's a beautiful thing because I had only lived in Atlanta two years, and I was trying to find my place. Wow. And um, wow. Best Self Magazine and Lisa and some other wonderful ladies like my uh, my friend Michelle, these ladies just embraced me, and I, I realized that sometimes – we just need to wait for our tribe, wait for our fit. Look at um, that. Mm -hmm. And the fact wow. that, like, she is successful and she um, doesn't need all this extra stuff, but yet she makes room for other people. And wow. she does not, um, wow. she doesn't feel threatened by other people or <laughs> feel like she doesn't need to express her support or. Um, you know, she's like very generous with her compliments and her support. And to me, that sh that shows that someone who is very strong yes. um, and confident in herself. And that's, you know, it's a shame, but we don't see that all the time. Um, right. mm -hmm. And so for that, I thank you. So um, wow. lots of love to you. But so my, my thing with, you know, early on um, with Lisa, I just kind of followed her journey and I would watch her videos with all, you know, <laughs> all these like fabulous food and, and this yes. and that. And so finally I said, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of like complaining about how I'm eating and how I'm feeling and how I don't like, you know, where my body is at this point. Right. Um, so I could either accept it or I can say, all right, I'm going all in. That's and it. so I called her and I said, okay, what do I need to do? And I was honest with her and exactly what I wanted yeah. um, for my health and, you know, fitness, and then I, I struggle with, um, you know, thyroid issues and yeah. stuff. So this, I said, this is what I want. Um, and she was like, okay, if this is what you want, then this is what you're going to have to do. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to need, <laughs> and you're going to need to decide, do you, are you all in? Do you want to do it? And if you want something more, That's then right. you're going to have to do more. That's and right. um, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's what I needed to hear. And so... It was, it was huge for me because now I'm making healthy choices. I'm eating things that um, I never even would imagine putting together. <laughs> that would be honest, <laughs> right? that they taste good. Right. So, um, so with that, Lisa, I just wanted you to share with some of the listeners, especially, you know, those of us over 40-something um, and how our bodies start to change. And yeah. it's not as easy anymore just to no. cut out a little bit or just to work out a little bit more. Like, no. you have to make major changes. And so yeah. what is, like, the number one thing 
that we should be focusing on. Uh, first of all, Trent, it's so hard to go into what's the number one thing to focus on after right. all those beautiful words that you <laughs> shared about. I love you so much, Trent. Thank you so much. Now, Trent is one of my best self Atlanta Magazine sisters. And, and she's, she's in the there, inspirational. Yeah. She won the inspirational, inspirational award. award. We she see was absolutely, if you can show her picture, <coughs> see how beautiful she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. Trent, are you watching or are you listening today? Well, yeah, well, everyone sees I'm you I'm listening. Well, I have it on my app. Okay. Well, everyone can see you now, but thank you so much, Trent. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she, everything she said about me, she is the same, um, and I love you. To answer that question for the viewers out there um, over 40 and, and fabulous, you know, or if you're in 50, the number one thing I would say t is uh, love yourself. That's, right. That's the first thing you have to do is to choose to love you. And when you decide to choose to love you, then you start to only put within yourself what will love you back. That's and so good. that is it. Mm. That's just a consciousness mm. of that. And Tran, that's what you did. You start loving you, and then you start choosing any and everything in life from the, the way you spoke to yourself, to the foods that you're eating, the things that you're drinking, even the people you put yourself around. That's right. You pour in and digesting <coughs> yes. love back into yourself. Um, so that starts off with eating more fresh fruits and vegetables, eating right. foods that will love the body, drinking right. more water, exercising three or four times a day. But it is putting things within you that will love you back. Love, I love that. And that's it. Love I think if back. I had to go like mm. across the board, right. it is that. Put yeah. things in you that's going to love, love you back. back. If and it's like, not going to love you back today, then right. say, you know what, we won't need to do that. And like you said, even that includes your surroundings. It's people, your surroundings. You know, it's those surroundings. that are connected with you, you know? Yeah. Because some people will tolerate you, but they won't really appreciate you. They will not. You know, and that's part two of your healing and your growth, I believe, as well. Yeah. And, and getting to that place. And, and Tron, you really said some great things in there about her and how you had to make a decision. Yeah. And once you've made that decision, you know, things yeah. begin to change in our lives. Yeah. And Trent is great. amazing. She looks incredible. Awesome. Her body is on point. That's wonderful. <laughs> hey, if you're just tuning in, you are listening to the 108 Praise Radio um, here at the Triumphant Radio Show. We have visiting with us Lisa Washington. She is the Best of Atlanta 2017 winner. We're so excited to have her in the studio. So we're having callers, and we're trying to get everybody in. Um, but the testimony, if you hadn't heard, it's been beautiful, and I'll touch back on that shortly. Uh, we do have another caller waiting for us, Michelle Thomas. Michelle, are you on the air? Yes, I am. Hello, yes. hello. <laughs> uh, look, she's in your chair. Uh, hey, Michelle. Yes. Uh, how are you? We're good. What do you have um, for Lisa today? Well, I had the honor and the pleasure of being part of the top 10 Best Self Atlanta with Lisa. Okay. And also, my bestie Tran just called in. So the three of us just really bonded. And one right. of the things that I love about Lisa, Lisa is a bright light. When she <laughs> enters a room, you, you're like, who is that? I want to know who <laughs> she is. I want her energy. Right. And I love that so much about her. Right. And like Tran, I've known her roughly a year. And, you know, the three of us have really clicked. Mm, right. And Lisa, I have to tell you, you and Inspired me. I work at Morehouse School of Medicine, and we have a doctor that's that's teaching a plant-based cooking class. Wow! It's a twelve-week class, and because of you, Lisa, uh, we became friends. We became Facebook friends, Instagram friends, and I too love the posting of the food. All right. <laughs> and right. I have I have lupus. Yeah. So yeah. I have to be careful with my mm -hmm. eating, you know, my stress levels. And because of you, I am taking this class and I am really learning. Oh, and I want to thank well, you for your light and your spirit oh, and seeing you. how you carry yourself that this is in inspired me to want to do better. Oh, thank so you, Michelle. So my question for you, because you do so much <laughs> and I follow you and I love you dearly, what in the world is next for Lisa Washington? <laughs> <laughs> and wait, I want you to hold on that, on that comment real yes. quick because we're going to get to next because I really want to dive into your website yeah. and the food that Michelle just brought up okay. and Sharon brought up. I want to talk about your business because we have other viewers that really want to hear, well, how do we hear about Lisa? How do right. we go to her site? How do we get her food? And you all can get the 2017 magazine of Best Self. You'll see those callers that just called in who are a part of it. So we're really glad that they were able to call I in and know. share their love for her. And, 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 and be genuine and supportive about 
where they have brought her. The one thing that I loved about the comment was um, someone said, I don't know if it was you or Tran, that someone will find you. And I think that was something that even came to my yeah. spirit, that you don't have to boast about what you do in life when you're trying to help people. No. You just do it, and yes. someone will find you. That's and right. because you were just doing it, you were found, yeah. you know? And so I, I, I love that. And again, if you're just tuning in to the show, uh, we're listening, you're listening to the Triumphant Radio Show. We're here with Lisa Washington. We probably a phenomenal testimony about um, her husband uh, giving her a kidney. Yeah. She's a survivor of that. She's a spokesperson for that. She has been able to um, now, I, I just got to say, you just have an enlarged territory, yeah. you know, throughout yeah. the states, yeah. throughout other countries, and you're blessing people with lifestyle changes. Oh, thank you. Not just women, but I want the couples to grab hold of this too, because yeah. when everybody in your home is healthy, yes. I believe that that changes the atmosphere and the aura. And the same way the beautiful ladies talked about her in terms of her aura and the bright light, um, I think that's a reflection of her household and what love is about. Wow. That's a beautiful love thing. You said that. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. We do have a caller um, on the line, caller 1221. We're moving a little bit faster because, you know, we're, we're running out of time, so i got to <laughs> catch everything. Um, and I know we want to get to the website. So let's hear you, caller 1221. Caller? Caller 1221, are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. My name is Ro. Well, everybody calls me Ro. I have a question, yeah. and it's in reference to creating your best self. Okay. I love the magazine title and everything that so. it seems to embody. But for a woman, um, who's transitioned through relationships or what have you, trying to embrace singleness and wedding, what would be a great piece of advice for her to create her best self? Well, the first thing is this. The best self is already there. It's not about mm. a creation. It's about an awakening and awareness awakening. of that wow. truth. Mm -hmm. And I think that takes prayer and meditation and connecting to God who created your best self. I think a lot of times what society, society tells us is that we got to go look outside of ourselves to find what's already there. And it's not. And being newly singled or whatever, that doesn't define us. You know, that, that doesn't define anything. That was never, if we're married or single or not, that was never our definition. Mm -hmm. You can't define what already has definition. And so I think for us as women, and for men too, is that we have to discover that beauty that's already there, that best self that's discover. already there. And that takes awareness. And it is a very powerful thing when you know not to search for what's already there and start looking for it, to see that it's there versus going outside yourself to search for it. Mm. So your best self is yeah. already there. What you got to do is find ways through prayer and meditation and being, time, being quiet with yourself to discover it and to see it for yourself. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I've done on my journey. I stopped looking for creating something that was already there and decided to tap into it and say, it's already there. God, show it to me. That's show beautiful. me what you see. And God will show you what you see if you pray that prayer. That's perfect. Awesome. Thank you. I You're shared welcome. it with the person I know that needed it. Yes. So I, wow. I'm, I'm my prayer is that she's listening. Yes. So. There you go. Wonderful. Thank you. Excellent question. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for calling in. All right. You know, I, I am loving this. I'm loving the fact that Keegan called a male <laughs> because um, the fact that, you know, I don't, I think it's wonderful that men can be involved in how we um, mm. talk about ourselves or how they view us and, and whatever comments that they make. It's yeah. a beautiful thing yeah. just to hear people talk um, from different perspectives, yes. from different genders and, and backgrounds. I love it. Um, let's talk about your website really quick. Okay. What is the name of your company, the website? What can people find on it? And let's let's let them know where okay, it's at. Okay, great. It's um, Bitali Wellness and Beauty Company. And that's B-T-Y-L-I. It's named after my children. I have a son that's 31, and we call him Bernard. He's B. Tyler is Ty, and I'm Lisa Lee. So it's B. Ty Lee. Love it. Um, and you can find me there. You can find me on Instagram at Life with Lisa Washington. I'm also on Twitter, which is B. Tally Wellness and Beauty Company there. And on the website, you can find, oh, and Set the Table with Love. 
Because everyone uh, talks about my Facebook food. Uh, if you yes. go to Set the Table with Love, you Set can find the, the recipes there. There's a lot of plant-based recipes, vegan, vegetarian, and lean meat. Wonderful. Um, and also a lot of inspiration. A lot of inspiration because Set the Table with Love is not just about food. Right. But it's about the connection that you're making while right. you're there at That's the table. That's wonderful. So you can find that wow. at, at, on the website and on the blog page as well. And so there's recipes. If, you, if, you're, li if you're listening right now and you want to have a recipe and begin a change or a transformation yes. inside and out, these are places you can go to and you've already heard voices of others that have called in that have shared and confirmed the changes that have yeah. been taking place in their life and the bond that it's made. Yes. You know, that's just a beautiful thing. Um, one thing I did um, want to make sure that we answered was, and Michelle asked it, what's next for you? You're, oh you're my doing gosh. What's next? Right now I'm on tour the Georgia Transplant Foundation. Um, okay. And I'm going around to cities all over Georgia talking about the importance of transportation. The title of the thing is called Trans and Transplantation, mm. but it's also about living a dream now. Right. A lot of times we try to, like, I'll be happy when, wow. but you got to, like, find a happy now. And Look so the that. whole thing is about the happy now. That's the, my whole speech is on the happy, happy now. now. Wherever you at, find a happy now. Um, I'm also about to publish my third book, wow. which is called The Whispers of Silence. Wow. And it's about me taking sabbaticals on Mondays and being silent for eight hours in prayer and meditation. Wow. And different things that I got from it. I did that for several years. Wow. Yeah, so it's a lot. And I'm really ready to go on vacation. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's the, right. Just to tell the truth. <laughs> and, 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 and the other beautiful thing about you, so you've written books yes. um, and that, that share this and other people can read this and become inspired. Um, but you've also been nominated as, as the Christian Dior Maven. I know, I'm a Christian Dior Maven. Oh, my Maven. goodness. Ooh, yeah. Can you share the date and, and all okay. about that? Well, Christian Dior Maven is City Box Media. That they and Christian Dior and City Box Media have teamed together to honor men and women all over Atlanta that are philanthropists, that are doing a lot in their community, that really set the example of living basically your best self. So Christian Dior is honoring and pampering and celebrating men and women on June 21st and 22nd. So I'll be one of the women that are honored wow. as a Christian Dior Maven on June 22nd. Wow. Um, presented and hosted and put on by City Box Media. That is awesome. We have to clap yeah. for that. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. And what I love is that we just can see how God will open doors for you and make room for you. You know, yeah. even there, there, let's say, for example, some of this may not hit you in your mind right now. You may end up being a different season in your life. But the prayer is that you'll, if you get to a place in your life where you need to be reminded of how valuable mm. you are, you need to be reminded how you can overcome, live your best self, yes. you know, live the other side of, of that trauma. Yeah, you know, think about good. this show. Think about the people that have come on that have demonstrated and articulated how to live that life in the tools that were given. Again, you know, we talked last um, in the beginning of the show about the suicide um, so that we've um, yeah, all yeah. heard na nationwide news the last week or so. And, you know, you sometimes have to wonder, do they realize um you know, was there anybody there for them? One, yeah. and then two, did they realize how, like you said, you just have to find it within you. It's, it's here. What was lost? What happened? And and that's of course a whole nother show dealing with those types of uh, mental health conditions and traumatic experiences, etc. But at the same time, our prayer is that you take heed of the nuggets that you do get. And guess what? You may not use it today, but put them in your toolbox, and you may need it next month that's or right. next week or next year. And so, any type of information that is healthy for you to feel on to grow the best you yes. inside and out take it and put it in your box that when you get to a place of trauma or trials yes. or relationship situation you can pull those nuggets out and begin to live a triumphant life and live the best you so yes. I, I really I really love that give us an example of a good meal like what's your favorite oh meal gosh. that you like to cook well, my husband is Cajun. He's from New Orleans. Okay. 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 So <laughs> one of my yeah, one of my favorite things to cook for my husband and his family is gumbo. Mm. That is like one of my, my favorite. Hands are up. That is one of my favorite <laughs> things to cook. I love cooking gumbo because you got to make the roux and it's nice and slow Yay. and you got to be all in it. <laughs> so that's what I love. I love and chopping everything. My favorite thing to cook that's very healthy is I love to cook paella. Paella is paella. really good. Oh, Just yeah. rice and seafood mm. and. So I love a lot of ethnic and cultural food. Right, yeah. right. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, have you dived into any um, skincare products or natural body oh. soaps and creams and all that? Well, yeah, I have okay. a skincare company. Okay, well, let's, so let's chat. I have a skincare company called Vitali Natural Skin Therapy. Oh, skin 
therapy? I started 10 years ago when my son had eczema, and I did everything to get rid of it, and I made this body souffle to cure my son of his eczema. He's 18, almost 18. Wow. He has no spots on his body that shows that he has eczema. Wow. Uh, we've been in New Beauty Magazine five times, which is one wow. of the largest beauty magazines in the world. Um, Whole Foods, we're in plastic surgeons' yeah. uh, offices. One of our, uh, our products are, are at Laser Lights, plastic wow. surgery office wow. in Johns Creek. Wow. Uh, where you can go yes. get the product there. Right. So um, nice. it's, it's been a, that's been a whole other journey itself. Um, we've had some incredible celebrities wow. that use the product and sponsored the product for me and all over the city of Atlanta. So wow. it's been wow. amazing. The thing about this is that I had a stroke the night I made my products. Wow. I had a stroke the night I made my skincare products, and my best friend was a doctor, and she was there, took me to the hospital. And what I learned from that is that you live your dreams short or long because they belong to you. Mm. And wow. 10 years later, I still have that company. Look at that. You know, we let things wow. stop us, right. and I didn't. And, I, you know, I was in the hospital, and I had people keeping the company going until I got back up on my feet. Wow. But you live your dreams short or long because wow. it's your dream. Right. You know? You know, I, I'm loving it, and I, I thank you, Lisa, for being so transparent and open. You're welcome. Um, you know, because we overcome by the word of our testimony. We yeah. talk about that all the time. Um, and not only does it continue to bring healing for ourselves, but for other people, and I think that's so key and important. And so many of us live the same life day after day, and we're yeah. complacent. We do the same thing, same behaviors, just the same when God is saying, no, you're going through some things. You may not want to talk about it now, but I'm here to take you out of it and put yeah, you in a different place. Right. And so sometimes when you hear people speak of what they've gone through and they're still living their best life and then they want to give it back and you yeah. see how God is enlarging their territory, it can happen for you too. Yes. It can happen. Yes. You know, and again, yes. I keep going back to someone just saying, hey, I submitted your name for something. <laughs> yeah. And then just this whole whirlwind of things yeah. that are taking place. And I think that that's a blessing. Um, and I think just we as women, um, you know, those, the, the nuggets that you've shared tonight, we can grab hold to, yeah. you know, tonight we can go to sleep and think about what about me do I need to work on? Because yeah. I, 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 there's still, there is no flaw in me, but there's always work to be done, right? Yes. There's always work yes. we can do. Am I, yes. am I eating agree. healthy? Do I need to change my, my lunch bag tomorrow? You know, what do yeah. I need to do? Because you don't have to wait a week or two. You can start today, yeah. you know? Um, and how would people get in touch with you uh, would they just messenger you if yeah. they wanted to be a part of it or go on the website? Yeah, they could go to be Tally Wellness and Beauty Company and just go and um, email me if they like. They can direct mail me on Facebook, which is Lisa Washington, or Set the Table with Love on IG, I like Instagram. They can, um, and I'm very good, you know. Yes. I will email you back. Yes, <laughs> yes, and yes, she will. And that's a, be that's a beautiful thing. And so, uh, again, if you're just tuning in, we're just a few minutes short of our time, um, but you're listening to the Triumphant Radio Show here at 108 Praise Radio, and we are here with Lisa Washington. We've just received a wealth of information, um, not only about... Um, beauty, but health, um, but also her testimony. I mean, I'm still almost in awe at some of the things that I've been <laughs> hearing, and it just continues to keep me inspired. You can't leave this show tonight being well with me. After hearing if someone's gone through a kidney transplant, you know, now they're the spokesperson, you know, if someone has gone through a stroke, you know, yeah. and they, they've, they, they're still there. If someone has seen something on their child and they've made products now for 10 years that has cured it, there is nothing that you can say tonight that is an excuse that you cannot. Yes, you, you can. can. Yes, you can. You can mm -hmm. do it. You, you can make it. You can dream it. You can accomplish it, oh. you know. If you have to get off this show tonight and rewrite what your goals are, if you have to rewrite yeah. your vision, if you don't have time to write a vision board, don't write the vision <laughs> board. Just write in your journal the things you need to do. Put it yeah. by your bed. Put your hand on it. Pray over it and believe God is going to manifest it for you in the natural and don't give up, even That's when good, it gets hard. Right. Were there some times while you operated your business that it got hard? Hard, oh my! Yes. And what tool did you put in place to keep on keeping on? Is what I said prior. Is live your dreams short alone because they belong to you. Yeah. And one thing I say to myself: if I breathe today, I live today, and I will live fully. If it's my last breath, Come they on. say she lived that breath with everything she had in her. But that <laughs> is how I look at life. When you are dying, yeah. you learn to live. You mm. really do learn to live. Um, and I think that's the most important for 
thing. If I gave anybody anything, yeah. get up and do something. You yes. can do it. D- don't wait for happiness. It is right, right there with you. Find it. Even if it's somebody next to you and they're having a great day. Yeah. So I, I need to borrow your happy for a moment. Yeah, come borrow on. Ha- borrow your happy. my happy. Here, take you my happy it? tonight. <laughs> borrow my happy. Here's some happiness. That's, yeah, come on. Just, just, Let me get you some happy. It. But the thing about it is shows you that happiness is always around. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's right. always around. Right. God's telling you just right. to, to, to take it yeah. on. You yeah, know? and so. we and we miss it sometimes, you know. Mm-hmm. And and the way that that you can tell sometimes when someone does not feel or receive or have that happiness is that aura. It is. I know Keegan talked about you know yeah. coming around <laughs> you that aura yeah. that makes you want to be joyful and happiness, and that aura seeps through messages, yes. text messages, um, you know, Facebook and everything. And so you know, if you're in a place today and you're just like, you know what, my aura hasn't been good, and I can tell. Not too many people want to come around me or there's an issue, whatever it is, you can change it today and not feel guilty, you know, because God's still going to saturate you with his love and bring out the best and the brightest in you so that you can be a light for the world. Isn't that what it's all about? If we never talk to anybody that went through, how will we know how to process ourselves to get to a triumphant life? It is nights like this, nights like talking to Lisa, nights like talking to the other guests that have shared what they've gone through that remind us, you know what? I have some tools in my tool belt that's going to get me to a better yes. place in my life. You're right. You know, and, and I, I think I'm going to just use that all week, you know, grab and throw that happiness, um, you know, at myself and at other people that's at work. It. That's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> at work. You know, we want to get the website again because we really want you to connect with Lisa. We want you to follow her um, on Facebook, Instagram. We want you to be able to just connect with her, invite her out. Um, I mean, she's just, I mean, Food Network, she's just been all over the place <laughs> blessing people with such a humble but loving heart and this is not just her I mean I know he's not here sitting at, sitting at this table but her husband oh I mean God. when I say a whole beautiful bright light couple that's oh God, who they are is. and so my prayer also is that if you are married or if you know someone that's married throw them some happiness yes. throw, throw them you know tell them you know what it might have been dark or it might seem bleak right now but we can change this yes. you know get together talk about it yes. prayer you know what what's one good thing you can share to a married couple oh my god like, there might be a hundred things I, but <laughs> I, I got some stuff but i won't yeah we'll do a hundred but i can give you one thing the one thing i would share with married couples is understanding okay yeah you need to learn to understand the person on the other side of you yeah. if you learn and allow yourself to understand him and he understands you yeah. that is what keeps marriages together is a lack of understanding of yeah. one another that's yeah. what breaks them apart wow that is the thing that's kept wow. me and my yeah. husband up for lack 25 understanding. years yeah. is understanding understanding Understanding. Understanding. That one word. Wow, powerful, powerful. So we're going to give the website real quick, and then I want to take the next caller. So again, BT, I'm going to spell it out so that some of you, if you're not getting it correctly, it's B T Y L I. Wellness, wellness and beauty company. and beauty company that's the okay website. go to the website <laughs> check it out there is a wealth of information on that site that can change you and and how you feel think everything from food and holistically and i think it's really beautiful hey we want to take a call caller 4209 you are on are you there caller 4209 hello hello welcome to the show Hey. Hi. Am I 41209? Yes, you are. 42209? <laughs> I didn't I didn't get a number when I called in. That's okay. It's You're on super. air right now. Hey, Kim, how are you? Hello? Carl, are you there? Hey, Joe. Hey, Kim. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I've been just listening to the show. So, so inspired, as always, Aww. with um, your testimony. And it's Joseph is there giving the big old hug because, yes, he is such a blessing. <laughs> um, you guys are such a blessing. We have been so inspired by everything that, that you do. And I don't have a question for you, but I kind of do have a question for you. Okay, I love so, you. <laughs> I, don't know if she, I don't know if she shared with you all of the table things that she does and her um, yoga and meditation and cooking classes that she does, but 
I'm sure all of the callers need to know about that, and they need to know like <laughs> when the next one's coming up because we all love them so much. I know, I know. You're so <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I do yoga and meditation <laughs> retreats and cooking classes. And the next cooking class that we have is actually coming up in the fall in September. And they can find, they can see they that can information, find all that information on the website. On the website, yeah. So yeah, the cooking class is coming. It's a farm to table. We actually go farm to an table. organic farm. Love it. And we get all the food from there. And sometimes we have the farm to table cooking classes right on the farm. That's awesome. So you get to get educated. That's about awesome. eating a plant based diet. So you can take that information home and do it yourself. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That's beautiful. Yeah. I, I love it. Hey, Kim, thank you for sharing that information <laughs> and, and giving a little yes, nudge to her <laughs> so that we can know, well, you know how to do this. She is. She is very modest and very humble. So you know, she's got it's all. She's obvious. got a lot of different cards in her stack right there. Right. That she might not be telling you everything. She might I know, have to dig I in know. just a little bit. Thank you. That's <laughs> Thank awesome. You. I, love, I love you, Kim. That's awesome. Thank you, Kim, for calling I love you. in. That was love perfect. You. <laughs> Hey, if you're just Absolutely. tuning in, we're, we're um, here at 108 Praise Radio, the Trumpet Radio Show. We've had with us tonight Lisa Washington. Boy, we have just had Some a wealth fun. of information. Wow. It's still not enough time to get through everything that we wanted to talk about. But um, definitely we want you to go to uh, Be Tally Wellness, um, the website, so that you can definitely get engaged. You can follow her on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and, you know, it is because of this that she's the winner from last year and still Aww. featured in the 2018 magazine of Best Self. Um, and so I'm really hoping that you are inspired to be the best you can be inside and out. Um, just remain humble because Aww. it gets you far, as you can see. <laughs> and um, I just, we're honored that you came on the show thank with us today. Absolutely. You are absolutely you know? incredible. Oh, my goodness. You thank are. you. I'm oh inspired now to do more. You That's should. Awesome. I'm inspired to keep going. Lots of wisdom. That's wonderful. I receive all of that. Yeah. And, I, and I can't wait to get off, you know, and go home and be able to soak in even the nuggets that I've learned here today, too, and, and even just being reminded of. We all can use reminders and, yeah. and be refreshed. Yeah. Yes. Um, to know how to live our best selves and, and, and just to stay humble and just use our gift. Our yeah. gift will make room for us, yes. you know? And so the gifts within her have just sprouted out <laughs> like wildfire. And, and I just hope you all continue to follow her. Um, maybe in, in a couple of months, we'll have her back on the show or we'll oh, meet her fun. somewhere. And so we can <laughs> kind of see the updates of what's going on um, again. And if you, if you didn't hear the testimony before, you'll be able to go back and hear the show and, and hear what's going on because there is so much to say about someone who can go through traumatic and trial experiences, but again, still come out triumphant. That's a beautiful thing. Hey, you know what? There is no flaw in you. There's not a flaw in you. No matter how you feel or think mm -hmm. or what you know you have to change, there is no flaw in yeah. you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're beautiful inside and out. And I pray that every couple, every single person, yes. every man, every woman yes. that is listened on tonight will remember the king and the queen that you are, yes. how you were created to be. Don't let anyone steal your joy or tell you anything different. If you're going through a trial or a tribulation medically, you just heard an awesome testimony tonight showing that you can still live yes. your best life. You yes. can still overcome. You can still live well. You just put some tools in place and you will see how God will take you from where you are at now to even a better place. Yes, Truly, you have shared that tonight. Thank you. We're just honored to have Lisa on the show tonight. Hey, don't forget to listen to me every Monday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on the Triumphant Radio Show where we are always voicing the gospel. We look forward Monday, we're going to have some fun, continuing to go deeper into ourselves, overcoming, living that triumphant and victorious life. And I want to remind you tonight, don't just go to sleep. Make sure you dream and wake up winning. We'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Yay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>